Hey readers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire Books, and today I'm going to be reviewing Filthy Animals by Brandon Taylor. This was an absolute must-buy for me because his real life, his first novel, uh, was shortlisted for the Booker Prize and ended up being one of my absolute favorite books of 2020. Filthy Animals is not a novel, however, this is a short story collection. So in Filthy Animals, some of the characters in the short stories are interconnected. So our main one that we'll meet is Lionel, who is a black graduate student who has had a mental breakdown. He's really struggling. He is trying to find his way, get his life back, get stabilized. And in this really vulnerable place, he meets some dance students who are dysfunctional in their own ways, even if he finds one of them very sexy. And so, you know, there are these interesting stories about desire and awkwardness and exposure and how to get close to people. And of course, a lot of it goes wrong because Brandon Taylor is the absolute master of writing just these really painfully awkward social situations where no one's necessarily in immediate danger of death or anything, but ooh, do they really get you? Because he just knows how to put people into tough situations and turn that knife. And they're also subtle, but I really identify with them because I feel like a lot of the situations that he describes are things I've been through before, uh, especially when he describes graduate school and university culture. I mean, he's not wrong. For example, I knew that Brandon Taylor was not here to play when I got to like page nine of this book and we had... Lionel resisted the urge to respond, grateful for the opportunity to drop down and out of the conversation. It was clear to him now, in a way that it hadn't been before, that he and every other graduate student depended on the currency of their university affiliations to get by in conversations, as though academia were a satellite constantly pinging, letting him know who and where he was. It wasn't until he had come out of that life that he'd realized he had no real way of relating to people without it. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, the thing that's that's so terrible about it is how true it is. The one-off stories in this are also quite good. Um, some of them are about how desire and like pushiness between people to get what they want can occasionally lead to violence and violation. But then Anne of Cleves, which is a story about a lesbian relationship, was actually pretty sweet. And it's very much about a woman coming to terms with who she is and the relationship she's in. So overall, there's a lot to enjoy in here. I definitely recommend it. I would say, however, that it's not quite as good as real life. I basically found myself wanting more from a lot of the stories in Filthy Animals. And while I do appreciate short stories, I would really have liked to see a long form piece of fiction using the recurring characters that Brandon Taylor has created in Filthy Animals. That said, I will buy pretty much anything this man publishes, and I recommend that you at least try his work because you might be the same way. Thanks for watching and happy reading.